Hello everyone. Today we're going to be examining the Samus ransomware. Now it's important to distinguish this from traditional ransomware that only encrypts the machine the attacker is controlling. Instead, Samus encrypts every computer and server from the inside as well as the network backups. Let's take a look at how this happens. First, the attacker scans multiple internet front-facing servers for a known vulnerability. Keep in mind, this is only one of many penetration vectors attackers can use. There are endless ways an attacker can find his way in, from a phishing campaign to a malicious website. The list goes on. Once a vulnerability is found, the attacker exploits it to hijack the server. Now that he has a foothold on a machine, he can steal passwords. Not just any password though, he is going to steal domain credentials, so he is using password stealing tools such as Darusby, Blarabindi, Mimikatz to steal the credentials. You can see here he stole the admin's password, so now he has the highest privileges. The next step is to gather information about the domain environment. The easiest and stealthiest way to do this is through Active Directory Reconnaissance. Why? because the Active Directory is a database that stores all users, servers, endpoints, and applications. With one command, CSVDE, he obtains all the endpoint names in the domain. The attacker uses this list of endpoints and checks which ones are alive using the ping command. Now that he's identified his targets via Active Directory Reconnaissance, he's ready to infect. Using the domain credentials he stole in step three, he spreads the ransomware and Trojan to the alive endpoints with the Windows utility PSExec. This chain here is what happens when the malware is installed on each endpoint. The skull shows that the computer is infected. Next, it encrypts all the files. Once the files are encrypted, a decryption key is created. After that, all shadow copies are deleted. Finally, the Bitcoin icon appears, indicating that the victim must pay a ransom to retrieve their files. This infection kill chain will occur across every alive endpoint until the entire domain environment is encrypted. The only way the organization can recover its information is to offer a sum of Bitcoin in exchange for the decryption key. So that's the Samus ransomware. You saw firsthand how only a few built-in commands were used to encrypt the entire organization from the inside. This is the next wave of ransomware, targeting the entire network and using the domain infrastructure against itself. IT departments only think of the Active Directory as a resource management tool. They aren't aware of its security flaws. The Active Directory manipulation you saw here isn't unique to Samus. All APT campaigns manipulate the Active Directory to gather information about the victim's environment. And we'll show you how they do it in future videos. For more information on Samus, you can click here and here. Please share this video and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss the next release, Dooku 2.0. We'll see you next time.